What's up guys, my name is the Russian Badger and today we are playing some Rush on Port Valdez. We are defending, and like anyone that's defending in Battlefield Bad Company 2, I love to spawn fuck, aka spawn camp, and that's what I do all the time when I'm defending. And I start on the actual first objective, what I do is... What's something critical that you want to do when you're spawn camping? Get there early. Like, I run my ass. This is not my actual speed, obviously. But I run my ass up front there. Avoid the tanks, first of all. But you want to get up there quick before the enemy knows that you're there. Then you get... Mo Firstly, on uh, Port Valdez specifically, I get the snipers first. Because usually there's a lot of snipers perched up on this hill. And as I kind of get the guys that are closer here, I slowly move up towards the guys that are parachuting. And I do get a few guys coming down in the parachutes. I bet that really pisses them off. Uh, but most of the time, I want to keep as much cover here as I can. But I do throw a grenade here randomly. I'm going to explain this to you. Uh, I throw a grenade randomly uh, to get this tree out of the way. I don't know if that's a real crucial thing that you really want to know. But... Um, the last game that I actually played with Assault was a squad team deathmatch. So I was using my 40mm uh, uh, shotgun, and that's not going to blow up a tree, so I had to use my hand grenades to get this tree out of the way. All because I'm using the 40mm shotgun, but uh, slowly here I move up, and then I start to be in... And actually, that's a tip here. I get most of the sniper, but he goes into the trees, and that's a good, good tip whenever you get a target that you've hit, you've got gotten hit markers on, and then he moves into some place of cover. Just kind of guesstimate his actual speed that he was running and continue to spray and you'll likely get the kill. Uh, and that's what happened there. And at, slowly as I kind of get most of the guys that are moving forward very quickly and are perched up on this hill, I slowly move up towards their actual spawn where they're coming down. And uh, even if you don't get the guys in the parachute, just like here, I got him mostly on the parachute. It only takes one or two bursts once he gets down on the ground and he's toast. And that happens quite a bit. I think I got two guys, one or two guys, uh, on the way down the parachutes. Obviously, you're going to see, see me fail quite a bit because it's hard to... They swerve back and forth. It's not exactly easy to take someone down in a parachute. But I do get uh, these guys a few times. I think I get this guy. Uh, yes, I do get that guy. That was the first guy in the parachute. And don't worry, I'm communicating that we're defending. But, um, excuse me, I'm kind of communicating that... I will be wearing down uh, the whole left side, and um, there, there's another guy on the right side of their spawn, kind of wearing them down from that side, but they just set a charge at Alpha, and I know there's enough guys back to defuse that. That's n It's no shock to me that it got disarmed very quickly. But the one thing is, is that be careful with spawn camping if you're not communicating with your teammates, and that's specifically because... If you're spawn camping and your teammates try to do it with you and they try to spawn on you and your whole squad starts to spawn camp, another teammate is going to flank you, get behind you somehow, and then other squad mates are going to spawn on him, and then you're going to have four or five guys or an entire four squad of guys behind you ready to defuse the objective with virtually your entire team up spawn camping, and that's how you get fucked. So although spawn camping is very fun, and it's very effective if you do it correctly, it can backfire profusely. Oh, and I got this guy in the parachute too. That, I think that's my second parachute kill. And another thing that I do want to emphasize, it's not exactly the best idea to have kind of an, a, an organized spawn camping strategy if your team is fucking randoms. I'm not going to lie. And although a lot of you guys can't put squads together because you just don't have friends on at the same time, it's very, very difficult to do it without uh, like an organized team. If you're doing it with randoms, it's a lot harder to pull off. It's possible, but it's going to be much more difficult as you would experience. And here, eventually I do run back, but I move back forward here to spawn camp. And that's kind of something that I do want to emphasize. Don't spawn camp the entire match. You want to come back and forth and kind of make it so that the enemy never really knows if you're there or not there. Because if, if you gradually sometimes go back to your spawn, your own spawn, and then you move back here, you try different positions out instead of spawn camping from one area like I did here. But since it was so effective and there's so much cover, and the, really the cover is so advantageous to me, and uh, the enemy is a major disadvantage because I have all this hill cover, but eventually, see, I do get uh, killed here, and that's as a result... At, this is one of my mistakes that I want to point out, just like all my videos, I want to point out a mistake. 
what what I have what happens here I use that spot too much I have, I have no idea why that sniper was on that mounted gun but uh, see I do eventually move back to my spawn just because I know a lot of, of the enemies have uh, gotten behind me on the left on the left side the other guy got killed the other guy that was spawn camping with me as my partner he got killed and so a lot of teammates flush down that left side but basically I just came back just to cleanse the entire area of the enemies so that they couldn't spawn on squad mates and then eventually move my back uh, way excuse me eventually move my way back up to spawn camp but basically come on guys okay some of you may think why didn't you go to fuse that bomb well seriously guys do you really need six guys to go to fuse a bomb it's really a much smarter plan just to have two guys go two guys dedicated to go two guys to go to defuse every time and the remaining four flush ammo and flush ammo and just spray all around the objective and make sure those enemies are either pinned down or killed and specifically what I mean is the enemies around the objective that could potentially kill the people your teammates that are trying to defuse the bomb so here that's exactly what I'm doing I'm cleansing the entire place and even if you're a medic and you, you really can't find guys you're just spotting guys that's a good contribution too but also too just keeping them behind cover with spraying and cover fire, that is very, very effective as well. Because all, basically, you either want to kill them or you want to keep them pinned down so they can't shoot your men, your fellow uh, squad mates that are trying to defuse the bomb. That's the most important. So once I kind of cleansed and, excuse me, once my teammates and I cleansed our, our own spawn, then I gradually moved back up, take out a few more snipers, and once, it's kind of sad, but we have 14 tickets left. And then at this point, they somehow uh, destroyed B. And I had one teammate tell me, oh, it was C4, man, it was C4. And then this other guy told me it was a T90 tank. And I really don't didn't know which one to believe. And they were like, uh, no, dude, it was C4, dude. And he's like, no, it was a tank. And I had this team, these teammates that were arguing about how B got destroyed. I'm like, okay, you're going to argue in-game about who destroyed B, okay? It's a real good use of your mics, but... Uh, one tactic that I use, if they if they uh, arm a bomb, I let my teammates go in first just to see where the fire is coming from or where that uh, guy that planted the bomb is hiding, like which corner he's hiding in the building. So I may be hanging my teammates out to dry in that respect by letting them go first and letting them get shot and then letting me go, go in second and shoot whoever kind of shot them. But uh, they do eventually get... Uh, a here by collapsing the building and this second set of objectives on Port Valdez is so hard to defend because both buildings are collapsible and that's really 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 hard to defend because they're easy to uh, destroy those MCOM stations but I do go 19 and 3 just because we held them back we destroyed all their cover and we basically mowed them down anytime they try to mount an assault so I go 19 and 3, just want to let you guys know my name is the Russian Badger and I'll have another video up pretty soon. I think I'm going to talk about which weapons got nerfs next. Uh, tell you guys about the update for Battlefield Bad Company 2, but uh, remember to spawn camp safely. See you next time, children.